Hi everyone, in this video we will create a doc type, a new custom doc type in ERP Next. So as we already, already know that ERP Next consists of different modules and within each module we have different doc types. So let's say that I want a new doc type, consider uh, it as an institute doc type in the HR module. So what I'm trying, what I actually want is that for the job applicant, in the job applicant form, apart from this uh, applicant name, email address and then cover letter and resume I also want the applicants to enter their institute detail um, particularly from where they studied all right so what I'll do is to create a new doc type I'll go to the doc type list so here these are all the doc types in the HR module if you want to see different doc types then we can go into CRM module and these are all the doc types present in CRM module now since I want to create a new model, new doc type in HR module, I'll just go to HR and then I'll create new doc type. Now I'll name this as an institute since I'm creating an institute doc type. Over here we have this option that is, is submittable. So if I check on this, that means the document form will be submittable. That means you cannot delete it directly, you'll first have to cancel it. Now I won't make it submittable, it's a simple doc type. So let's add some fields now. So first field is name field, that will be the data field of an institute, all right. Then what else is there? We have institute address, and then we'll have institute contact. All of these are a data field, all right. So, and what else can we add? let's have a look so we have institute name institute address institute contact contact details so address let's say it's a text field since it's not going to be just a small so let's say text and contact so contact will also be a data field So all right, this doc type is, I'll just click on save. So now the new doc type will be created. So uh, we have now an institute doc type. Now over here, we'll do some changes over here. So you see if you want to add a role that is right now it's a system manager role. So what I'll do is since I created this mod, this doc type in the HR module, I'll add a new role of HR user. So HR user can read, write, create, all right. And I'll also add a guest. So why have I chosen guest is because this institute doc type, I'll be linking it further to a job applicant doc type. So that's why I have added it to a guest. I mean, job applicant is a web form, actually, which uh, a guest can also apply. Somebody who's not a user, they can also apply. All right, and HR user guest. All right, let me save it. Okay, so we have now created this institute doc type and okay, over here we can also add the naming series um, uh, for this institute doc type. Uh, what I'll do is I'll duplicate this page and we'll go back or we can go to institute list from here also. So I'll just click on this and we'll go to an institute list. Okay, so I already have this institute doc type previously created and I deleted it and I created a new one. So these are all the previous record. So what I'll do is I'll delete this. Let me refresh it. All right, no worries, we'll create a new one. So let's say the institute name is NYMS and the address is Bavai, Mumbai and we have the contact details of the institute that is let's save it so now the institute record has been created and you see this is the this is how it's looking the naming series is not proper so we can do some changes over here that is we can create an auto name so over here we see that there is a format example that is we can have a field name one field name two so what i'll do is i'll just add a institute ins then dot hash 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 
and now I, I'll create one more all right let's create one more institute now Dream. let's add the address Hyderabad India and we'll add their contact detail let's save it so now you see this naming series has now changed it's INS0001 because of the hash that I've added so I hope you understood how to create a doc type and then how to assign a permissions in the doc type and then also how to assign the naming series and apart from there um, in the next video I'll be explaining to you how can you link this particular form in the job applicant doc type that I'll explain to you and I'll also explain you in the next video how to create a child table so thank you so much for watching